Hi, my name is Vinay and in this video we will see how you can make use of a third party spy simulator using the Microwind software. So I have Microwind 3.9 version installed. Okay. So here as you can see that it opens in a default 7 nanometer rule file. Okay. So if you want to change the rule file, you can go to select foundry and select any other rule file. For example, for this demo, I will select an 012, that is CMOS 012, that is 0.12 micrometer rule file. So here on the bottom side, you can see that shows 0.12 micrometer technology. You can select any of the rule file you wish to work on. Okay. So let's say I just quickly make an inverter for you and I just go to compile one line and click on inverter so here you see I have an inverter made out of using the compilation feature of the microwave so I double click on the gate in one and apply as a clock okay and make it slower one and ask him to visible in simulation then for the inverter this is my output I just ask to be visible in simulation okay so to do the in-house simulation using the inbuilt Proton simulator of the microphone, I can just click on this play button and here I can see that it works well, it works as inverter, I can see the power and the low to high and high to low degrees, okay. But in this example, in this video, we are trying to see that how I can make use of WinSpy software. So to do that first, I save this file somewhere in my system. So I select uh, anywhere you like to do you can do that but for my in this demo I do it on the desktop and uh, I just call this as inverter demo okay while saving this file ensure that there is no spaces in the file path or the file name otherwise the win spice will not be able to call it through the command line okay so you can just go to file and say convert into a spice netlist so here you can see that this shows the spice converted netlist and you can go to spice control tab and you can select what kind of response analysis you want to do and what are the settings of those. Right now it is, I just set it to 50 uh, nanosecond duration and uh, I just say run run spice. So it gives me a warning or the error that I am not able to find the win spice installer. So I just say okay and I will ask it to give him the path for the win spice. So in my system it install in C program files uh OSTEC win spice and win spice. In your case it might be at different location. So you have to just browse it to the location where you have installed the win spice program. So just select the win spice 3 application and click open. Now when you run the win spice, so he will call the win spice software and he will be able to simulate uh, the inverter for you. So here you see that this is how it works. So he is able to show the rise and fall delays. Okay. So here you see you can see some commands coming out. <laughs> now, whatever changes you bring it over here, so that will be reflected in the wind spikes also. For example, I take a virtual capacitor and attach to the load. So let me make a small value like 0.2 picofarad. And I see that it comes like something triangle waveform in the inbuilt simulator of the micro one. And let us see what it does on the spice. So I say convert into a spice necklace, run with spice. So the same response comes on the wind spice also. It shows a triangulated output because the, the capacitor makes a heavy loading at the output side. I can just double check on this capacitance and make it a little smaller. Maybe add a zero. 10 times smaller so here you can see the delays are quite enormous okay 45 and 105 so that is okay and I convert into spice and run run spice so here also I can see that yes the delays are quite significant in win spice also okay and you can do all kind of analysis possible in win spice for example you can do a, a DC curve transit analysis okay DC analysis and uh, you can do the AC analysis you can ask me to show in the DB yeah so this was the response of the inverter output coming up you can see the phase response also 
to the interface response. So all these services are possible using the WinSpy software and Microman now. Okay, thank you very much.